Hi guys, welcome to my channel and in today's session I am going to cover SAS practical intro questions and answers. Let's move on to the next slide. This is about my experience and my certifications. Let's move on to the next slide. So guys, if you want to learn SAS, you can contact me or if you want to buy my video course, you can WhatsApp me or you can email me. Let's move on to the next slide. So guys, if you are preparing for SAS interview and you required a SAS interview session, you can contact me or you can WhatsApp me or if you want to buy only the PDF that includes the SAS interview questions and answers, you can contact me. Let's move on to the next question. So guys, in the first question, write a program to create new data set with only last three observations of source data set dynamically. Dynamically means I do not know how many total observations are there in the source data set. So that's why I only need three observations. So our program should be like this. It should automatically pick the total number of observations and then pick last three observations in them. Source data set says help dot cars and below is the screenshot of last six observations. So guys, I have just attached the screenshot of the source data set. You may be thinking like, okay, I have provided you the total number of observations that are 428. This is just for the comparison purpose, but we are going to solve this question thinking that we do not know how many total observations are there in the source data set. Let's see the answer. So answer is NOBS option will tell number of observations. So we are going to use NOBS option number of observations. Let's see how we will use this. So I am using data creating a data set last three observations then using set statement to copy all the observations of says help dot cars. Then I'm using an option called NOBS number of observations. What this option will do it will store the count of total observations in says help dot cars in a new variable called XYZ and then what I'm doing I'm using if underscore n underscore greater than xyz minus 3. So I got xyz means total observations. So it's 400 28 minus 3 equal 425 and n underscore n what it does. So n underscore n is an automatic variable that holds the data step iteration. In simple words, when SAS reads first observation from SAS help dot cars data set, then the value of underscore n underscore is one. When it reads the second observation, the underscore n underscores value is two. If it reads third observation from the source data set, then the value of underscore n underscore is three and so on. So our condition is x, y, z minus three. That means 425. So you may be thinking like, okay, it's 425 so it should read from here 425 so it will be 4. No, what we are doing here we are saying greater than this number. So this xyz minus 3 is 425. So it is comparing when underscore n underscores value is greater than 425. So 425 is not greater than 425. So greater than 425 is 426. Then it will pick 427 and 428. So this way it will read these three observations and this is what our question is asking. Okay, now we are not using any number here. You can see we are just dynamically storing the count of total observation in XYZ variable. You can give any variable name. So it's not specific to the total number of observation we know. So it's not required that you know the total number of observation. It can be thousand, it can be 10,000, 100,000 this code will handle automatically. Let's see the output. So if you see the output data set, you can see it is showing three observation. Obviously it will show the three observation because we are picking only three. Now if you compare this Volvo S80 T6 DR Sedan Europe, Volvo S80 T6 4 DR Sedan Europe, it's matching. Then this one is matching with this one and this one is matching this one. So all three observations are matching. That means our code is working fine. I hope I am able to explain it. Let's move on to the next question. What will happen if we run below code? So I'm creating admit underscore and data set using the source data set says user dot admit and I'm giving two where conditions where sex equal to M and age greater than 30 and weight greater than 160 where sex equal to F F means female and age greater than 30 and weight 
greater than 160. So there are multiple wear conditions. What happens with multiple wear conditions? Let's see the answer. So answer in case of multiple wear statements, the last wear clause replaces all above wear statements. If you mention multiple wear statements in a code, then the last wear statement will overwrite all above where statement so only this last where statement will execute and rest where statement will be ignored if you see the log so here this is our code if you see the note what it says where clause has been replaced so the first where clause has been replaced now so what has happened when we run this code so it is showing there were two observations read from the data set says user dot admit and which where statement is picked you can clearly see where sex equal to f and age greater than 30 and weight greater than one is 160. So you can clearly see the last where statement has been picked. I hope you understand what will happen with multiple where statements. We will be discussing more about this in the next question. Let's move on to the next question. Question three, make the changes in the below program so that both where statements should work. So you can use the previous where statement program. That's absolutely fine. But here I am using same program, but I have changed the last where statement. So instead of giving the long, I have just given one so that I can explain it easily. So the first one is as it is. We discussed in previous program, but here I have added one fees greater than 125. If I run this, we all know that the last where statement fees greater than 125 will replace the first one so we, we can clearly see here where clause has been replaced and nine observations read and this where statement has been picked so it's clearly saying in the sas log how we will work around so that both where statements should work let's see the answer so i'm just making a small change everything is same i have added here same and and so same means it will copy the entire condition that we have above given should be part of this where statement now and then we are adding with and operator one more condition so this way we can use both where statements let's see the log if you see here same program it says where clause has been augmented here it says where clause has been replaced so that means augmented it has included the above condition with this where statement you can use same word with where to copy the above where conditions. Okay, it has given the three observations read because now the, this first filter is also included. So that's why now we are getting three observations. Earlier we are getting nine observations. Okay, how the conditions are picked. So if you see where sex equal to M is picked and fees is greater than 125, this one is picked and age is greater than 30, this one is picked and weight is greater than 160 so you can see all conditions are picked you may be thinking like the condition should come this way sex equal m age greater than 30 and then weight and then at the last fees greater than 125 should be picked but this is not in our hand says pick this automatically i hope this is clear let's move on to the next question so guys here is the next question write a program to calculate runs scored in each over each over means when the six balls bowled, then one over is completed. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Till this, we have one over. And each ball, how many runs is scored? So first ball, one run. Second ball, four run. Third ball, two run. Fourth ball, zero. Fifth, six run. And sixth ball, three run. So these many runs are scored. And if you see another over, till 12, and another over. So it has a total three overs run conceded. What you need to do is you need to summarize this way that what I want total over one, two, three, and run scored in each over. So in the first over, if you total these one plus four, five plus two, seven, seven plus six, thirteen plus three, so sixteen runs. So first over sixteen runs conceded, and then second over twenty run and third over 26 so this question you need to solve yourself if you are not able to create the source data set 
you can whatsapp me or you can email me for the code that will generate this data set however this is pretty simple all you need to do is just use data lines and use variables ball and run and then just add these values you can quickly create this but still if you are not able to create this you can contact me once you solve this question you can mention the solution in comment section you can send me the email you can whatsapp me okay i will check your answer and provide my feedback if you are not able to solve this you can mention in the comment section or you can send me the email or whatsapp me i will provide the solution All right guys let's move on to the next slide that's it in this session guys if you like this session please hit the like button subscribe my channel or hit the bell icon we will meet in the next session till the time Bye and take care.